Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. And look, I'm your host, Beaker. We got my bunnies, Melly and Pi over there. I mean, for me, they're like right here. So guys, in our recent Valentine's Day special video, which was so fun, by the way, we showed you guys that we were in a clan, a special clan that we're not normally in, right? It was for an event that we have done, you know, me and Judo have been a part of for two years now. Like we've done it for two years straight. So every time we've done this every year, I've gone for the three star against Judo. And the question this year is, did Judo attack us? Did Judo three star us? Well, if you want to see us get three starred, I've got some good news for you. But before we get to that, let's look at some good news. That is good news to me. Hang on. All right, guys, we're going into my first attack in this war. Now, I want to see if I can zoom in on it. Do you guys see the air sweepers? Like, they're really deep in the base. We tried to go right through two of them. This is like, this is like Fast and Furious. You guys got to see this. Look at that. Right in between that one. And there's another. Did you guys see that? I don't know how we did that. I don't know how we did that. Actually, I'm going to tell you guys how we did that. I literally got a ruler and held it on the iPad and was like, okay, if I go from this exact point, Cool. Nice job, B. Nice job. Anyway, this is the part that I knew we could handle, right? I've been doing this a lot lately. When you do the blimp bomb, you get, I mean, you end up with like six or seven super archers in there, just ripping stuff up. That's the fun part. But the rest of it, man, how do we do? Dude, we're just getting knocked by everything possible, right? Uh, the, the enemy traps are hitting everything that we really need. But still, we're already at two thirds of the base, right? And the heroes are up. And like, look, you know, we got a bunch of barbs around the king. We got a bunch of archers around the king. That stuff does matter. You know, my favorite part about this is though, look at our hero pets. Look at Frosty. He's too good. Like, has he been nerfed yet? I don't want that. But look at Diggy and Frosty. They both stun defenses and slow down defenses. That seems too OP. I, I got to shut up. I don't want to give them any ideas. But for real, um, I really think they're the best heroes in the game. Speaking of good heroes, Queen, what have you been up to? <laughs> you're so trash. I love you. I I'm just, I'm just joking. You're not trash. Sometimes. Anyway, she's stuck in the wall up there. It's hard to say. Like, if she was down here, would we have gotten this? Yeah, but then again, you just never know. You just never know. Dude, so many people in my clan got three stars on their first hits. And that's kind of, well, I don't want to say intimidating, but <laughs> you guys are kind of intimidating. I was so worried that I was going to let you guys down. So worried. And I did, to be fair. I messed up so bad on defense. All right, guys, so we got BB going up against, I mean, look, our number seven player, which who I saw BB in the chat quite a bit. What's up, BB? Uh, going up against number two in the enemy clan. We attack number one, and it's kind of stupid hard to go up against a max base now. <laughs> and it's really only for one thing. It's the spell towers, man. Like, look at these stupid things. I love every kind of spell tower. Poison, though. It's not super fun. Like, it's just, it's not super fun. If you can get around it, if you can find a way around it, yeah, I mean, sure. It's not going to change the raid that much. But if you have to go straight through it, I wish they'd made, like, Skeleton Tower or Bat Tower, right? That would have been super fun, man. See bats and skeletons flying out of that thing? That would have been cool. Anyway, look at that jump. Speaking of perfect, perfect jump. The bowlers, let's see that hop. Hop. Oh, they went fast. I was hoping they would get, you know, get a little hang time there. Anyway, they're standing right in front. Oh, they're getting tore away. Wow, that's, that's kind of freaking me out. There it is, man. There it is. Haircut. Yeah, I had to go to a haircut. <laughs> like, right after I recorded this, I had to go to a haircut. Anyway, if Diggy stays up. Cool. Good job, Beak. Good job. Like, look at the. <laughs> I think that wizard tower was stunned and frozen. Hey, uh, number 34, do you guys see their name? That's a good name. I really like that name. Hey, so you guys want to see me get three-starred? Cool. Um, you guys see the problem here? I don't understand why. Like, I don't think it was a glitch. I think I just forgot to do something, right? Those of you who do friendly wars probably know exactly what I forgot to do. I forgot to update the base in some way. So we don't have a Tunnel 15 base here. We have a Tunnel 14. We don't have spell towers. We don't have... Right? Yeah, they're just not there. Any new building, like the monolith, the spell towers, they're just not there. So stupid. I just dropped my shades because I'm so mad. It's just so stupid. Like, I I probably still would have been three-starred, but I made a special base for this. I was so excited. I did 
See, me and Judo had the exact same idea. You'll see it in a second. We both made these super troll setups around our town hall because everybody likes to do a dunk on the town hall now, right? Do a, do a blimp dunk on the town hall. Hey, Egg. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> just, just, wow, that makes you dizzy. How? Yep. Okay. All right, guys, at this point in the in recording this, I knew we had to run. We had to go get a haircut. So I'm going to show you our attack on Judo. Look at this base, man. Look at look at the poison towers. Just so trolly. And look around the town hall. What do you think are in there? Bomb. Giant bomb. Bomb. Giant bomb. Bomb. Giant bomb. A tornado trap. It's just all of it, right? So guys, what I was doing, I was taking my old iPad and using it as a ruler but with the straight edge to like line up how I was going to send in the blimp into the base. I would highly recommend doing this. It was fun, right? So I had some more confidence of where it was going to go, where it was going to path, uh, path through. But right here, we're in the right place. But come on, man. The poison tower is right next to us. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I do love this, though. I love this so much. Anyway, man, look, speaking of poisons, all of our troops look like they've been poisoned. All of them. Man. And then they hit every single trap in there. I don't think we could have been any more. Like, I don't want to call it unlucky. Judo texted me and was like, hey, bro, unlucky. Nah, man, he was just trying to be nice. <laughs> I should have saved the warden ability for way longer. So we had it when we went through the poison, when we went through the traps right there. That would have made a world of difference. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's some headhunters. Oh, that was pretty sick. I kind of like that. They're like, yeah, I don't care if we die doing it. We're going to get in there. We're going to get that hero. Respect. Oh, it looks like there was one more attack I wanted to show. That's right. Guys, I forgot we had one more attack. I kept it on. Well, you'll see. We really didn't have much time at this point. I had to leave, you know, while I was recording this. So we're going to watch Judo go in with an amazing dunk here. Look at this. Just amazing. And it's going to be a ground combo, which is so hard nowadays with the walls. I know I joke sometimes that like the max level walls, it's, it's kind of questionable if they're really worth it. They're worth it. Like when you see this, you're going to realize why they're worth it. It is so hard to get around these little max wall compartments. Some of them are max, some of them are almost max. But either way, they're so tough. You guys see the eagle? Oh man, that thing almost went down and now it's going to get built all the way back up. That's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking. Oh, they're still in there. Unreal. They, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. All right, man. Well, you can imagine... I, I really wanted to try this in war, but I knew that the air was going to be... Look, the eagle's back to full health. I knew the air was going to be more fun and, and easier for me because when you're talking about the max walls, they're so stupid OP. Cool, cool. I guess it's worth 8 million for each one, right? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it for this one. I think we had to speed it up because I had to run out the door when I was recording this. Hey, the queen, the, the graveyard queen or whatever she's called, finally made it in there to get the eagle after that thing has dunked on his troops so many times. Do you guys think he would have had this if he had gotten the eagle immediately? Maybe. The only problem is he's got an expo over there on the other side, along with the queen. They hit pretty hard. You might have heard. Hey, look at the replay. Is that the warden? He's invisible. Very OP. Cool, cool, cool. We like it. We like it. So anyway, thank you. Thank you to everybody who came out. I'm going to try to shout out everybody. Uh, I think I took some video of just like everybody on both teams. I really enjoyed clashing with you guys, especially my team who I got to chat with. And I can't wait to do it again uh, next time. And next year, I got to make sure my base doesn't do that again. I will triple check it, right? Like, I messed up. I know that. I've done it again and again. I'm sure there was just like one button I had to press to like, hey, get those new defenses in there. We're good. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time right here on the one and only Beakers Lab. Peace.